What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Wow. Somebody angry or something. <laughs> All right, let's dive in and see what's going on with my Scorpios. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all have a fabulous, what is it, Friday Eve. <laughs> we almost there. Okay, let's see. I just got out the shower. Y'all got water all on my shirt. Lord. Okay, what's going on with my Scorps? What's going on with Scorpios? Please, Spirit, what is going on with my Scorpios? What's going on with Scorpios energy right now? What's going on with my Scorpios? Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Okay. And blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being here. So somebody is um, focusing on their health, whether it's physical, mental, spiritually. Somebody is trying to like grow, go about it the, the right way. Some Somebody, I don't know why this looks like weed plants to me, but I'm going to say it anyway because it came out. Um, Somebody may be... Um, using what's the word what's the tech what's the professional doctoral term or whatever i don't know weed okay somebody may be using weed to like um or the stuff that comes from weed. i don't know to like help with their health in some sort of way that looks like a weed plant to me i'm sorry that's why i said it. but anyway Somebody could be cutting back as well, like maybe somebody smokes too much and they may be cutting back to like kind of clear their head here, realizing that they might have like, you know, they might be overindulging or something like that. Yeah, with the patience card, imagination, um, it, they may feel like it alters their reality in some sort of way here. The peace card or this could be somebody choosing to do this, you know, to kind of like release hurt, pain, you know, um, give some type of relief. Okay, what's going on with Scorpio? Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. The trust card is popping out. Okay, so. And then honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And forgiveness. Okay, so somebody is trying to work on the trust part here. Um, Somebody may want forgiveness for not being as honest or... Not being as upright. Yeah, somebody realizes it may be a challenge. Like somebody might have uh, lost your trust, lost your faith here in some sort of way. Uh, they realize it's a it's a challenge to get that back, or they they realize they failed a particular situation where. Like they were presented with an obstacle and they might have failed at holding themselves accountable. Like where you could trust them or where you were like they might have been a little deceptive or they might have been a little sneaky. They might have been, you know, lying or, or somebody feels like they made a mistake. Like I shouldn't have, you know, I was presented with a with the opportunity and I failed it and I wasn't in the upright at this point. So somebody sees you, you may be setting yourself free of them, free of this. Oh Lord. Okay. Let's see what's going on. What is going on? All right. What's the health card? What's the health card, please spirit? What is this health card for Scorpio? Oh, okay. The hangman in reverse. Discontentment, apathy, disinterest, stagnation, impulsiveness, negative patterns, detachment. Okay. So somebody could be feeling like you're detaching from them because of some unwise choices and you feel like it's better to like distance yourself from them here. Yeah, the magician, the death card, uh, four of wands, the lovers could be due to a love choice that somebody made. This could be, you know, somebody's karma, justice, three of swords. Um, you could be ending a situation or manifesting an ending towards the situation here because you know there was yeah the sun the judgment and the devil oh god because you feel like this person may be toxic or they may be dealing with some type of obsession or cheating or uh, some type of bondage, some type of materialistic things here with the sun, the judgment, and the toxic. Uh, the I said the toxic. <laughs> so some of y'all saying this person toxic, 
the devil card. Some of y'all have felt like, and I'm going to read it from Scorpio's perspective, but, you know, please flip it, okay, if you need to. But somebody is saying here, Scorpio, it's like you're saying, in order for me to be in a healthy, upright energy, in order for me to be in the upright, in order for me to live my life in a peaceful way, in a peaceful manner, you can no longer be in my life or you can no longer be in my friend group, family. I, I don't know. Like somebody is like outcasting somebody here or like somebody's just making a judgment call about somebody's actions. Like, and it's not that people can't change. I feel like you may still see them in a toxic energy. Or they could have did some toxic things and you kind of like, whoa, that was <laughs> that was over the line, you know, two of pentacles. You may feel like this person is off balance or they're wishy-washy with the two of pentacles. Like, you know, a greedy type of person in order to get their way with the devil card. Like, they kind of do whatever they need to behind the scenes, sneaky behind the scenes to get what they want. Um, yeah, the will of fortune to make things go their way. The devil, the two of pentacles and the will of fortune. I don't like that. Because this, with the devil there, this is somebody willing to do whatever they need to, toxic wise, okay? Um, and this card, I'm going to read the card to you because it says addiction, depression, mental health issues, ego, secrecy, obsession, cheating, dependency, bondage, materialism, sexuality, powerlessness, hopelessness, abuse, violence, and assault. So you may feel like this person will go through great lengths just to like get things to go their way, to balance something out in their way. Like this, you know, you, you, this person is still at your purse or this person a lie. They will cheat. They will manipulate. They will go have sex with whoever they need to, you know, ugh. Okay. <laughs> the page of pentacles. Yeah. You may feel like they're okay. You feel like they're sneaky. Okay. You just feel like they would do anything to, to make shit go their way, but in a toxic way, like they won't even do stuff in the upright. Like they won't even, they won't even Some of y'all are just disinterested, okay? You feel like this person may be, oh my gosh, the tower moment. You could have had a tower moment with this person. You could have been very giving and loving towards this person with this Queen of Pentacles energy. You know, you come off as very abundant, very loving, very fertile, uh, male or female, but like, and loyal, like very loyal to the point where you're, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, she's a fucking badass. She's the matriarch. You know what I'm saying? Like, she will make sure your belly's fed. She will make sure you got clothes on your back. She will, you know, that motherly, baby, what's wrong? <laughs> you need something to eat. You need some money in your pocket. You know, you, <laughs> you know, that big mama energy down here in the South. You need some money in your pocket. You need something to eat. <laughs> you know, y yeah, you can come over and stay the weekend, baby. Get yourself together. You know, that type of energy, like very loving, very caring. Um, but somebody might have created a tower moment. Like it just kind of caused a lot of chaos like and this may be where you found your awakening in this chaos or like you found out what type of person you were dealing with here like very destructive like causing uh sudden upheavals that you weren't expecting like it just kind of came out of nowhere this is like somebody that would come in and they would have a hard time they could come to you and you would be loving and caring to them but then they turn around when they leave the next day. They stay, stole all the money out of your wallet when they could have just asked you. And you would have gave them more than what you had in your wallet. You know, that is that type of energy here. Oh, wow. Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this could be like a a family situation with the Ten of Pentacles. Others of y'all, this is like a, a lover, you know. Some of y'all have like stepped into this abundance as well with this Ten of Pentacles, you know, the Queen of Pentacles. You could be building things on your own here and like you stepped into this Ten of Pentacles and now you are building like this generational wealth. Um, but again, this could be like family, you know, business, responsibilities, uh, riches, like something about you. Somebody sees you as value, but it, the way they went about something here was toxic. Okay, like it was not. 
it wasn't it wasn't your cup of tea you know um you probably like what the fuck like you know kind of like they fucked you over type of energy what's the health card have to do with what's the health card energy what's the health card energy depression yeah somebody uh, the depression card came out somebody may be feeling depressed or feeling you know going through it mentally right now this could be the reason why they're smoking or, or drinking i don't know somebody hopefully somebody's doing it in a, a good way okay let's just say it like that but that really does look like mary j to me okay i'm just, anyway i'm gonna get off that okay um some of y'all this person is going through it because they could have done something, you know, so getting a room, hotel, motel, suite, business pleasure. Somebody could have been overindulgent. OK, you know, they were saying they were at work, but they were cheating or um, they were out here in these streets type of energy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Um, and so you could be standing your ground because of this. You know, not allowing things to. Not not allowing somebody to get through so easily because you feel like you need to defend yourself because you feel like like they tried you. Yeah. So it's like even if you tried to have a new beginning with this person, it could be toxic. You know, it could be you feel like you're going to put yourself back into a tower that's already been destroyed. And you're like, why the fuck would I want to go through a tower again? Like uh, you've already like destroyed it. It's already crumbling. Like I don't want to go. I don't want to get in that tower. That hurt me. Like, you know, it's like, uh, I, like, I mean, people are jumping out of this bitch. <laughs> why, why do I want to get back in there? So, um, some of y'all may feel like if you went towards this person or you, this could be divorce as well. Y'all, y'all could be going through a divorce. There could be somebody not, you know doing too well when it comes to this what's the health card for Scorpio what's the health card yeah so me I just feel like this person's a liar you feel like they told lies to you it says no facts never has facts make shit up and lies carless no card repo card issues that could have been what the halt was and you're kind of just standing in your power now stepping into power praise coming up in spotlight a lot of y'all may be in a spotlight now a lot of y'all could be voicing your opinion of you know what's going on um just really just standing your ground on i'm not coming in this tower like i've you threw me out <laughs> like we i had to jump no you didn't throw me out maybe they did but like i had to get out of there like you were setting the bitch on blaze like you were burning the whole down like you think i was gonna stand there and just let myself burn uh i think the fuck not like you know or maybe this person did throw you out you know i don't know <laughs> y'all are like I look like I got to go. Like, <laughs> oh Lord. So, uh, yeah, some of y'all dealing with a player. This person was in and out very inconsistent here. It's kind of like, you know, they were blocking you or cock blocking by not being consistent. Maybe they weren't being honest with you, you know. They were playing games, very in and out, very shaky. Kind of like the tower. I mean, the tower hadn't been built up so long that it's on unstable ground and it's. It's got to come down because the bitch on fire now. Like, it's like, yeah, bad karma. Now somebody may feel like their karma is being blocked from you because of the lies that they told. They no longer have access to you the way they once did. What's the health part for Scorpio? Ball steady. Um, so, yeah, some of y'all, this could be like a spouse or a father figure, you know. Um... But the problem is this person is like in big dick energy, like ball steady, stable, rich business owner, CEO, big dick energy. So this person may felt like, you know, they were entitled to do this. Like they could lie about this. They could say what they wanted to about this. Um, they may be stuck in their head. Oh, love triangle. Could have something to do with the third party. Okay. Um, but somebody kind of like lied and they felt like they could do it. Like they were in this big dick energy. Like, yeah, I'm. I'm big daddy, <laughs> you know, I'm boss daddy. I can do what I want. And so I'm going to lie and cheat and deceive and everything. And now somebody's kind of like stuck in their head about this here. Um, crying of you, sad, hurt, upset. This person could be upset about that. They could be the ones going through the, through the depression here. They might've felt like they lost a chance with you here. They could be in their head about it. You know, again, this is another one of my smoking, getting high cars. So they could be like, you know, um, 
they think of you when they up there, you know. <laughs> um, let's see. Give me another card. What's this health card with the hangman in the first and the tower? What's the health card with the hangman in reverse and the tower? Ugh. Hold on, yeah. Date. Meeting someone new, dating, get back out there. Yeah, heartbroken. Some of y'all are ready to meet somebody new because you feel like this shit already done burned down. Like, it done crashed and burned. Like, it's just, you're not getting back in the tower. You ready to meet somebody new? You ready to move on? You ready to move forward here? This person, yeah, there could have been a third party. Yeah, I keep coming out. It's like you gained your clarity. You may not be talking to this person as well. Uh, you feel like you've gained the clarity that you needed towards this person. Uh, you feel like you need to protect yourself from this person due to some type of third party situation where it says attracting, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So you may feel like, you know, you need to protect yourself from this person because this person broke your heart. Um, you might have already grieved it and mourned it, you know, or you still could be doing it. I mean, you know, people, they heal and they grow at their own time. You know, it took me a long time to get over things. I'm still doing it now, but like, this person could have really deeply hurt you. And so it's kind of like, you're ready to start new, ready to start fresh. You may look, you may look at this person as a snake. <laughs> oh, God. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Okay, some of y'all are definitely dealing with a third party. Now, this third party could have came in and did some stuff. Like, you know, they could have told lies. They could have caused issues, could have caused problems. And you feel like this person with this boss daddy card didn't step up and handle the situation they should have. Like, they kind of ran with the lies, ran with the bullshit that was made up here. And so a lot of y'all just look at the situation like y'all dealing with a two-headed snake, you know, like... If this person involved with a third party, you're like, no, I'm not dealing with this. This shit, this was some BS, you know, like y'all two, y'all bit me once. I'm not getting bit again. Like I'm not going, <laughs> I'm not going down that road again type of energy. Or like, you know, you may just look at this person as a snake peer by, by themselves, you know, like, yeah, I'm good. What's the trust card? What's the trust card? For Scorps. What's the trust? Y'all, I wish these cards, it's the Ace of Cups in reverse. Hold on. <laughs> that way I don't have to get up. <laughs> oh, Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, sadness, pain, unrequited. Okay, that's what it is. Y'all feel like this is an unrequited situation. Emotions, infertility, and miscarriage. Um, I hope y'all didn't have a miscarriage. I'm sorry if y'all did, but. Y'all feel like it's it's not worth growing or you may have trust issues into if this can grow again or if this can evolve in some sort of way here. You just feel like it's unrequited. OK, like you might have felt like you was pouring into somebody and they were just they just kind of like pissed on you and didn't even have the the kindness to call it rain type of energy. You know, yeah, four cups. There could be a lot of regret here. You could just be refusing this situation or kind of you know blocking the situation out because you feel like it's unrequited like it brought a lot of sadness in your life it, yes swords and king of wands yeah i keep coming out it could be a third party like it really could be a third party and third party doesn't have to be another person i mean this person could have been like oh i'm going to work they went on fucking vacation <laughs> you know or they were negligent like they just kept they worked a lot and like work and the time between you two got in the way type of energy like i don't know three of swords and king of wands is pretty uh heartbreak betrayal loneliness absence um you know went through some shit scorpio you may feel like this person made a decisive decision to cause this like you know you chose this i trusted you you showed me you didn't give a fuck about me you were it was unrequited between like you didn't care. You didn't you didn't care emotionally at all. And you went and made the decisive decision to do this and to cause this. And you didn't you didn't think about how it made me feel. So there could be trust issues. So you may you may just you know, you're kind of looking at it for what it is. 
with this trust card and Ace of Cups in reverse. Clarify the Ace of Cups in reverse with this trust card. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. You might have felt like some they worked against you with another person. Five of Cups. Or this person may try to like. They may want to come back in and work with you, but you don't trust it because you look at it as unrequited. Like this person showed you that they were willing to toss you out in a tower or they were willing for you to jump out in a tower and burn the whole situation down. And it's like now they want you to kind of like have faith, have trust to work with them here. Somebody could be, you know, in grief, sadness here, loss. They feel lost without you here. Heartbreak. They feel like nothing's changing. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and Ten of Swords. And it's because they could have done something recklessly here or made like a quick decision to like start a new beginning. But it caused like the way they went about it was like it was very backstabbing, betrayal type of energy. Like this person could have talked about you behind your back, you know. Uh, stabbed you in the back, you know, they may feel like you may be a little bitter or somebody was bitter here, you know. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This is... Woo. Okay. What's the trust card? I'm scared of what's going to come out. What's the trust card for Scorpio? Yeah. I just heard, run away, run away. So, <laughs> running away. So, some of y'all are like hauling ass, okay? Y'all like, fuck this. I'm, I'm good, okay? Kick to the curve, fulfilling a fantasy. It's like you feel like somebody setting the record straight. Fake apology. Yeah, you don't even feel, you don't even feel like this person sorry. They might not even said that they were sorry. That's the problem with the fake apology and setting the record straight. It's like they want to come in. They want to offer a fake ass apology. There's no emotion behind it. It's very unrequited. And then they want to be like, "Hey, can we work together?" And you're like, "The fuck." It is. It's like you just went out and you did what you wanted. And you fulfilled exactly what you wanted. And you just kind of like kicked me to the curb or like, you know, I don't know. And you were just like, oh, I'm doing what I wanted. I don't care who the fuck it hurts. And so you're kind of like running away from this because you're seeing it for what it is. Like, hell no. Yeah, you may feel like, feel like this person is fake. Fake friends and gym. Or you feel like they'll do whatever they need to to get. To, I mean, to like they would lie to you in your face and be like, hey, yeah, I'm going to the gym. And you know that they're going to fuck off with somebody. Or you may just feel like they're they're not trustworthy at all here. Bugaboo. Some of y'all feel like y'all done with a bugaboo, honey. Okay. <laughs> this person, they, a bugaboo, they, they get what they need. Okay. And then if it, if it means betraying you for some something else to get what they need out there, they'll do it. Okay. What's the uh, trust card? What's the trust card? Played out. Yeah, some of y'all are just, y'all like over it, you know. Spiritual hater, impersonator. Ugh. You may feel like this person, dirty offer. You may feel like this person is just coming in and like trying to offer you something. But see, you're they hate your intuition. Like they hate that you're very intuitive. They hate that you're enlightened. They hate that you sing through them. They use, a lot of y'all see this person as fake. Like, they will put on whatever mask they need to to get what they want. They will impersonate. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is giving me narcissistic vibes. Okay, but anyway, they will put on any mask they need to to get into a position. Maybe if it's like somebody called up for a management position. Oh, yeah, I've been a manager for the past five years. And they lying like a motherfucker. Or, oh, yeah. <laughs> I know how to do Excel. I know how to I know I know how to work on Microsoft Word. Yes. They've never touched it a day in their life. You like football? Oh yeah, I love football. Oh yeah, I like cheerleading. Oh yeah. I like to eat seafood and the bitch are allergic. <laughs> like what are you doing? So you may feel like this person is just they they can't offer you anything authentic. Like it's all there's something behind it. 
it's, it's a reasoning behind it. Like, it's like, what, what, what? What's the trust card with the Ace of Cups in reverse? Three of Pentacles. What's the trust card? Ace of Cups in reverse. What'd I tell you? Fake flexing. Some of y'all may feel like the reason why this person's coming towards you is because they've been fake flexing or they, they don't really have what they have. Like this person could, it says, ask rich, floss his money, ask fancy, shows off, etc. So you may feel like this person, they like pretend to be something they're not. Like it's like, God, like it's frustrating. Okay, fam. Some of y'all may be frustrated, like, fuck, like, would you just be yourself? Like, just, it's crazy. Family issues into you, good chemistry, great vibes, and positive. So a lot of y'all, y'all may have family with this person, or y'all may have been, like, really close to each other. It could be friends. Don't have to be a lover or anything like that. But y'all could have been, like, really close to each other to the point where, like, you know, it's good energy with you. Like, you good vibe. You high vibe. You know, you loving. You know, peace, love, and blessings type of energy over here. Like, hey, yeah, let's, you know, mm. But then, like, this person here, it's like, they're in that devil energy. It's like, bitch, if I hug you, you going to stab me in the back, like, to get what you need? Or are we going to be, is this going to be good energy type, you know? Like, but this person here, you may feel like they want to come towards you here. Yeah, happiness hater here, too, though. You may feel like they're wanting to come towards you. To be in your good energy and stuff like that. But you you may also feel like this person's only doing it because they don't want you to be happy. Creeping. Without you. I, I don't know. Or without them dodging bullets. Some of y'all just feel like y'all need to protect yourself. Like, you've already shown me for show me who you truly are. Like, you've shown me what type of person you are. You show me what you'll do to me. Like, and not give no fucks. And, like, I just, I, I can't. Ooh. Give me one more on the trust with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Fishing for comments. This person could um, be watching your social media. You know. Watching what you post. Dodging bullets. Y'all could be, you know, posting certain things online. This person could be watching. You, st you still coming off. <laughs> Impersonator. Switch a hater came out again. Um that player <laughs> so you know this type of person your intuition already tells you what type of person this is yeah you know what type of person this person is so you're kind of like you impersonate to to get what you want you try to you try to like like you may feel like if this for example, like if you're a hard worker and you really go after the grind, you go after your money, you may feel like this person puts on a show and be like, yeah, I'm working on mine too. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Or if you're very spiritual, you may feel like this person to put on this persona like, oh yeah, I burn Palo Santo and Sage and da, 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 da. And you're like, but you're not. Okay. Uh, you know, and then the player card here is like, you feel like somebody plays games with you to get near you or like, I don't know, honey. I feel like there's somebody you've already known because they've already caused a tower moment in your life or y'all have had a tower moment. What's the trust with the Ace of Cups in reverse? Girl talk, yeah. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. So some of y'all are just, y'all run away from it because you're like, I just, I just want to be happy. <laughs> I want to be happy. And if that means being single away from you or if that means I need to like, Take up other offers, maybe, you know, find somebody else, you know. I want to do that, but you feel like being in this situa situation with this person, you feel like you've been strung along. You feel like you feel like they made moves that were not in your, like, not for your highest good either. Like, they just kind of, like, just went out there and was, like, it was very unrequited, so they didn't give a fuck how you felt. So they just kind of, like, made moves and teamed up and partnered up and worked with other people in situations when you were here loyal and you were like given to them and then they were just like oh fuck you what you give to me I'm gonna go out here and go do something else you know and now you just feel like this person's a whole fraud when they come back because it's like you did this like it can't be swept under the rug like you did this like I don't know yeah um some of y'all are just 
like y'all changed your mind with the phoenix like this whatever this person did i feel like it had a lot to do with your spiritual awakening or it had a lot to do with like you be the growth that you had like if you invested in something or you started working on something because you got the hammer card next which is like sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it so this could have like really lit a spark in you or a flame in you to work towards something to grow um where you've been persistent maybe like you took your energy and your efforts and like you know like mine for example like my hurt and my pain allowed me to like really focus on my YouTube channel to like do the readings. Like I love doing the readings because it's like a, it's kind of like my own little, you know, counseling session. You know, <laughs> so I look at it, it's like, oh, okay, let me read the energies. I love this. So it's like, you know, this is where I put all of my time, energy and effort. It's like my YouTube channel. I freaking love doing this. Like it's fun. Like even when I'm like, oh God, this is so frustrating. It's fun. Like I, I, I love it. I truly love it. And so, and I love all of you, like, just being able to do this for y'all. It's kind of like, you know, it's, it's like my little besties. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm running off. Okay. But whatever this person did, like, y'all could have took that energy, you know, turned it into fuel and put it into something else that you've built and you've grown. And so that's where you're really focused at is what I see. All right. So let's get you a. I guess a love oracle. I mean, this ain't a love. I don't, yeah, I don't know the name of this deck. I think it's like romance oracle or something like that. It's the only heart shaped ones. Okay, I liked them because I thought they was cute, but they heart shelf. Anyway, your last message. What message do you have for Scorpio? Uh uh. No, we're not taking all this spirit. I'm sorry. That's too many. That's too many. Can I just have one, please, <laughs> for Scorpio? I think. There we are. Okay. Oh, I like it. Okay. Here's the image. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So I think y'all are kind of just letting stuff go, you know, just letting fate take it, you know, like, hey, okay, we're just going to see where it goes from here. I mean, I don't see you forcing anything. I just kind of see you just allowing things to go with the flow, just allowing things to happen. Bottom says, look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So some of y'all I don't know if this is this person or this is you, but some of y'all, y'all, y'all are going, y'all sticking with the facts. Like y'all sticking with, okay, this is what you presented to me. It's kind of like, you know, a person comes to work and like they present themselves as this on their resume and then they're none of that. Like you're like, well, I was going based off the resume. That's why I hired you, you know? And then like this person proved to be lying, cheating, stealing type of person. They was like stealing out the register, taking money. You know? And you're like, you're like, well, I can't just like, Sweep that under the rug, because now that's going to fall on me, you know. Fool me once, shame on you. But, you know, fool me twice, you know, shame on me type of energy. So some of y'all are kind of just surrendering and just kind of like letting stuff play out, letting, just seeing where it goes, you know. But anyway, this is what I have for you, Scorpio. <laughs> I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.